Click up Ramiro. It's not a question that could have even been asked with any sort of relative reason before last fall because ClickUp hadn't implemented its whiteboard view yet, but it's there and I'm curious, which one's better? Just jumping into pricing really quick, we can see that there is a few options for Miro. You get three editable boards for free and some pre-made templates, core integrations, and for $8 a month, well, you get unlimited stuff. But for ClickUp for free, you get unlimited tasks, members, views, you get whiteboards. And then $5 a month, you pretty much have unlimited storage and whatnot. So for me, kind of seems like pricing wise, ClickUp wins as it does have a bunch more options. So I just wanna jump really quickly into the overall feature set of both of these because obviously they're not just whiteboards on both ends. For ClickUp, you have this nice home view and it's essentially a bunch of different task setups as well as it has a documents feature where you can pretty much do similar markdown typing to a lot of other applications. You have dashboards that can showcase the different work that your team is doing or what you're doing yourself. And then there's this whole system of having different things like goals set here. Basically, it's a bunch of different databases that are made into a few different views. There's the list view, which is the default one, a board view, which is a Kanban board view that a lot of different database functionality has, a workload one, a calendar, a timeline, and then there's all these other ones between Gantt, table, mind map, workload activity, and even a map view. Whereas Miro has a fair amount of things. It's, it's just essentially a bunch of boards that is next level regarding the whiteboard capabilities. And for brainstorming and stuff like that, it's really nice. Uh, even from an integration standpoint, you have the ability in this application to do some things that you're not able to in ClickUp. Like on here, you're able to completely implement and show things on the Miro app for Zoom. So you can bring Miro into any Zoom video meeting and collaborate instantly. The same goes for Teams. And then from ClickUp side of things, there are a lot of cool integrations too in this section. So for example, I had an analyze Excel reports example that I like to showcase. And there's this attachment where I can go through and see different documents that are in the Microsoft suite, just right in ClickUp. And you could even have a new task example here that comes from me emailing to this and I can basically capture tasks in that way. I can email to a specific address. And I think that's really good for certain team aspects. From the integration standpoint here in this home view, you can integrate a calendar like Google Calendar into your ClickUp suite. You can even do things like screen recording with ClickUp. There's a lot of different things and ClickUp is a more overall project management suite. But when we look at something like the whiteboard side of things, and now if we go here, we can see that there are a bunch of different templates that I can choose from. So if I choose this concept mapping template, it's gonna set this up for me really quickly, which is nice. And then also on this end, if I make a new one, we can do a mind map as well in Miro. So if I create this shared board, we have a really nice templated version in Miro as well. But the thing between ClickUp and Miro is that honestly, it is mildly comparable and there are some good things that you can do in ClickUp. Like this side section has a bunch of different things but unlike with the Miro side of things, you don't have as many keyboard shortcuts. Like you can see Shift T, okay, cool. I could add a ClickUp card with Shift T here, Shift T, and I could add this new task example. And what's really cool is that you can integrate different tasks and projects into your ClickUp whiteboard. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate how you have similar things to like the shapes that you can have in Miro. So with this, we can put a little sticky note here. We can put shapes here as well. It's got a lot of the same functionality, but there is less clunkiness with Miro. So left clicking, you're selecting. Right clicking, you're dragging and moving around. In ClickUp, instead of doing that, you basically switch between the two cursor options, which, you know, if you do keyboard shortcuts, you can do V and select or M and then move around. So it doesn't take too long to switch between the two. But overall, I think that experience is worse. You could just have it be a right click, left click sort of situation and I would prefer that. Now what's cool is that you can do connectors and drag between different things in both of these platforms and they work pretty well. And they all have a pretty cool setup where you can do like elbow lines, you can do curved lines or straight lines, as well as change the thickness and the color. Now here when we do it, 
you'll see that there is a lot more options. You have the th more than just the three, you have also the dots of what it looks like. And the colors are obviously there, but you can add text to it as well. On here, you cannot add text to it. You can change the text position on there. Basically, everything that ClickUp has from a whiteboard perspective is more tailored towards working well in general because Miro is a full-fledged application for whiteboards. I'd say though that the cool thing about having it integrated with your ClickUp tasks and whatnot may lead for it to being a better software for teams that don't really wanna go for a crazy good experience. But if you're really trying to do collaborative work from a whiteboard perspective and showcase this live in meetings, I would say that this application is a little bit better because Miro just has more options and you can even do things like have a Kanban board view. So I could make a whole Kanban setup within this application. It just shows you that like the level of functionality within this is a little bit higher than in the ClickUp whiteboards overall. But even if we look at some of the other templates that ClickUp has, if we delete that one and make a new one, since it doesn't have unlimited whiteboards, it only has a few whiteboard options, we can get a reverse brainstorming setup here, zoom out, and see that it does have some different options here which are decent and that you can use. But honestly, from the perspective of whether you really want better whiteboards, I would just go with like the free version of Miro to like pair with ClickUp if you only want a few whiteboards or just pay for full price ClickUp because then you'd get unlimited whiteboards because the next level stuff in Miro is cool. And obviously I think that's the best option if you want to go for a really good whiteboard experience. If that's what you're looking for, you want a virtual whiteboard, go with Miro 100%. But if you're looking just for something to supplement your overall idea brainstorming with your teams, I would just use ClickUp. Like it's, it's a really good application for project management. It can do so many different things outside of just this basic whiteboard feature that it's worth having it to sort of pair with things. I still think that you being able to like put tasks on a whiteboard and then like interact with it. So say for example, I just open this. I mean, you're almost able to like open the context in, in three dimensions, but just on this computer situation, then you can open up the context within a whiteboard, which is something that you can't really do in Miro because it's not integrated with your task management. If you want to see other videos like this on how to improve your productivity, check this one out right here.